They're grim. They're grinning. They're great. They're tombstones. As it is very obvious from my past few videos, Disney is something that is very important to me. Obviously, the Haunted Mansion being one of the most fascinating parts to me. Um, it is one of my most favorite attractions at the parks. I wanted to go full out Haunted Mansion theme this year for Halloween. I had something very big planned that I'm not going to disclose quite yet because I have a feeling it might come back up in the future. But I was able to get started on it with these Haunted Mansion inspired tombstones. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about outside of the Haunted Mansion, there are lots of quirky tombstones um, with lots of weird sayings and such on them. And that is what I tried to recreate with these. So yeah, they are super simple to make. Something people have been doing for a very long time and today I'm going to show you how to do it. All the materials I'm going to use today will be linked in the description below, but to start with, you're going to need some sort of styrofoam. I'm using these three quarter of an inch sheets that I got from my local hardware store, but pink insulation foam also works really well. Now, since these are so thin, I am going to have to glue two sheets of it together. To do this, I'm just using some hot glue. A thicker foam is preferred, so you will not have a seam, but if you must do it, just use a little bit of hot glue and then push the two sheets together like so until all of the glue has cooled off and now it is time to draw out the shape of the tombstone i'm going for a very basic generic shape on this one just a little curved top very simple you can do whatever you want you can build up more layers of foam so some parts are thicker create whatever kind of design you want but i'm just going to show you a very basic way for this tutorial then it is time to cut it out the best way to cut foam is with a very sharp razor blade when it is thick like this you are gonna have to do a bit of a sawing motion especially if you used hot glue to glue two sheets together be very careful not to cut yourself and once you have it cut out it should be a little bit like this now we're going to mark out the designs we want to engrave into the tombstone you can do whatever you want i wanted to have my daltarity logo so i printed one out and cut it out very carefully with an exacto knife I then pin this homemade stencil I just made onto the tombstone where I would want it to go and filled in all of the blank areas. After this, it was time to move on to all the words I wanted to have onto the tombstone. I marked out some guidelines about two inches apart just so my letters would be of equal height and then I just marked what I wanted to say. Again, you can do whatever you want for this part. I did something very simple just in memory of Daltardity R.I.P. But you can get as creative as you like. Now before we move on to the next step, I want to stop and talk to you guys real quick because I don't think I've ever explained what the true purpose of adult oddity is. Our whole goal is to bring the world of fantasy that we all love into the world of reality. And the number one way we do that is through this channel with all of our tutorials. But I'm not sure if many of you know, but you can also go to adultoddity.com, head over to the shop section and check out a lot of cool things that we have for sale. Say you don't have the time or energy or effort or whatever it is to make these tombstones yourself, but you still really want one, you can go over, add one to your cart, and buy one. We will make one for you. We even have fully customizable options. You can say whatever you want on them. Just let us know, and we will make it for you. Your very own unique tombstone. While you're there, you can also check out lots of other things. We sell our Kakunas and Shuppets and other realistic Pokemon replicas that we have featured in our videos and lots of other really cool stuff. Now, the shop is not our number one priority. Obviously, we want to just be able to teach you guys to do these things on your own so that you can make your own fantasy world. But if you would like to support the channel, this is a really great way to do so. And you'll get something made just by us in your own home. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? I think so. So, anyway, thank you guys. Back to the video. All right, now the tombstone is marked and it is time to start engraving. To do this, I'm going to be using a soldering iron. Now these things get extremely hot, so I find it's best to only very lightly touch the foam or even hover above it when working on details fine like this. 
it will sink in. I promise you do not have to touch it that hard. You do not want to ruin all the detail you just spent drawing. Go ahead and do this all over everywhere that you have marked. Now this is honestly the most difficult part about the entire process. I know it can be extremely nerve wracking, especially if you've never really done something like this before. So feel free to take a scrap piece of foam from earlier and practice on that first. It can be really helpful. I definitely did this too, to make sure I wouldn't be messing up the foam. But if you do make a little mistake and you carve into a place that you're not really supposed to, it's okay. These are tombstones. We want them to look like they have been sitting outside, getting all weathered and gross looking. It's creepier that way, so don't sweat the small stuff like that. Just go for it. When it comes to the letters, however, it is best to move fast because you do want them to remain thin, and the longer you hold the soldering iron in one place, the deeper it will go. So you want to make sure you very quickly just run it across there, and you'll get those nice fine lines like so. After not too long, you will be very used to it and you will be able to finish the tombstone with ease. Go ahead and finish doing this all over, carving in all of the detail you drew on beforehand. Once that is complete, you can take a heat gun or torch if you have it and melt some of the edges to give it a nice old weathered look. And then it is time to cover it with Monster Mud. To make said monster mud is actually fairly easy. All you really need is joint compound, doesn't really matter what kind, and some latex paint, preferably in a light color. I'm using a pastel yellow just because it's easier to mix gray up with it. And then you just need some sort of disposable container. Now just take some of that joint compound and start scooping it into your container. You want to put a generous amount just because you are going to want to put several layers onto the tombstone. It's better to have more than less. I like using these containers because you can put the lid on it and store it for later. Then just pour about an equal amount of latex paint into the container as well and start mixing it by hand. I also like to add just a little bit of waterproof wood glue just to add a little bit of durability and waterproof and then continue mixing this by hand. Then to start giving it the gray color you want, mix in some black latex paint. I like to start mixing mine by hand, but if you can, it is great to use an old egg beater and just mix it up until it is nice and smooth. This makes sure everything is nice and incorporated. Now it is time to apply it to the tombstone. I'm wearing some gloves just because I don't like getting this stuff all over my hands. Now you can just take any sort of regular old brush, scoop a bunch of the monster mud onto it, and then just sort of slap it on there and start painting it on. When it comes to the letters, make sure you get down into all of those nooks and crannies. You don't want to fill it up too much, but you definitely want every surface to be covered. Do this for the entire tombstone. Get several good layers of this stuff on there and then your tombstone is complete. You can add a little bit of painting or seal it with a waterproof varnish when you're done, but that's totally optional. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you're done. You got yourself a tombstone. I made this one to be my Daltonity logo, but of course I also had to make some from the Haunted Mansion, like I said earlier. This is a fairly simple project. You can make a ton of these things and fill your entire yard up to look like a freaking graveyard. It's amazing. I love it. And this guy definitely loves it. And I hope you guys also really enjoyed it. If you want to see more great Halloween videos, this is only the first one of the season. So make sure you click the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when I post some more Halloween videos. And be sure to check out daltoddity.com where you can buy your own tombstones and other really cool stuff. Make sure you also hit that like button if you really liked it. And also comment. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Bye.